Let's go over some tourniquet myths that I've heard and you've probably heard some of these as well. And I'm gonna dispel some of those myths right now for you. Number one, tourniquets equal limb loss. That is absolutely not true. You would have to leave a tourniquet on for many, many hours to actually lose a limb due to that tourniquet. Myth number two, apply the tourniquet two inches above the wound. We like to go what we call high and tight, and that is going high up on the limb as high as possible. This avoids any complications or things you might run into as far as what's going on internally and missing the artery by applying a tourniquet too low. Myth number three, tourniquets are painful. This one unfortunately is true and it's absolutely something to be aware of because if you put a tourniquet on properly and the patient is complaining, ouch, this hurts, this hurts, do not take it off. It just means that you've done it right. So keep that in mind. Myth number four, tourniquets have to go over bare skin. This is false. In fact, they can go over jackets, clothes, t-shirts, whatever. The thing is you have to look for hard items that are underneath that tourniquet. For example, if there's a cell phone in the pocket or maybe pocket knife, something like that, those have to be removed. But other than that, they can absolutely go over clothes. Myth number five, as long as the tourniquet's snug, it's good to go. This is false. In fact, one of the number one reasons for a failed tourniquet is not taking all the slack out. So when you're putting on that tourniquet, make sure it is very, very, very tight. And that will stop that arterial bleed. So there you have it. Some myths dispelled about tourniquets. And regardless of which tourniquet you buy, make sure A, it's a good, effective tourniquet, and B, you're proficient using it. Stay safe out there.